I'd like to begin by recognizing all of the very distinguished guests gathered on the platform today, and especially Deanie Dempsey, who has honored us with her presence as the sponsor of the submarine South Dakota. Deanie, thank you for being here. We're particularly pleased to have with us representatives from the Mount Rushmore State. I'm sure this is a proud occasion for those who, of you who call South Dakota home. I'd also like to recognize members of South Dakota's pre-commissioning crew and the ship's commanding officer, Commander Ronald Withrow. At this time, would our seated guests please rise for our national anthem, which will be sung by Quanta Point employee Scott Lacculade. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Electric Boat are delighted you are here to witness the keel lane of South Dakota, the third United States naval vessel named for that great state. The first USS South Dakota was an armored cruiser launched in San Francisco in 1904. The ship served in World War I, patrolling the South Atlantic. The second USS South Dakota was a battleship and the lead ship of its class. Launched in 1941, South Dakota served in the Pacific Theater during World War II, participating, participating in the Battle of Santa Cruz and the Naval Battle of Guadalcanal. It's been 77 years since the keel was last laid for a ship named for South Dakota, and we're understandably eager to complete the construction of this submarine so that the state of South Dakota is again represented in the Navy fleet. I'm very pleased we have with us today several of the Quonset Point employees who are celebrating 40 years of service at Electric Boat this year. At this time, I'd like to recognize some special guests with us today. Please stand when I call your names. Mr. John Casey, Executive Vice President of General Dynamics Marine Systems Group. representing the governor of South Dakota, State Senator Corey Brown. And the husband of our sponsor, retired Army General Martin Dempsey, former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff.
I would also like to recognize the hard work and support of our Connecticut and Rhode Island congressional delegations. Without their efforts, we would not be celebrating today's event. I'd like to say to the shipbuilders at both Electric Boat and Newport News, keep up the great work and the strong performance for, for which you are all known. To the crew, congratulations on this historic milestone in the life of your boat. To our sponsor, thank you for being here to impart your initials and your spirit onto this submarine. And to the people of South Dakota, take pride in knowing that this submarine will stand for freedom everywhere she sails, representing your home state and the United States for many years to come. Thank you. On behalf of the people of South Dakota, I am honored to join you and all who are here today for this very special event. As a lifelong South Dakotan, this is very special for me to represent the people of my home state at the keeling of the USS South Dakota. It has been nearly seven decades since the last USS South Dakota, a battleship, was recognized with this honor. I am confident this USS South Dakota will follow proudly in the tradition of its forebear, which had such a distinguished history during World War II. I want to congratulate Jeff and Admiral Jabbly and the Navy EB team that, again, uh, brought us to another incredible milestone in the most successful shipbuilding program today in America, the Virginia-class submarine program. Uh, it was really just about a year ago that we were here to lay, lay the keel for the Colorado. Last October, we christened the Illinois. Newport News christened the USS Washington just a few weeks ago. And on deck is the Vermont and the Delaware uh, to, to follow uh, this drumbeat of incredible performance that the submarine industrial base here in Rhode Island, in Connecticut, in Virginia, has risen to the challenge that Congress and Navy, the Navy has laid down. I often have said that we have the finest military on the face of the planet. I'm proud to say that. It's both because, the most especially first and foremost, because of the men and women who go to work every day wearing our nation's uniform, putting themselves in harm's way to protect our nation, our Constitution, and all that we believe in. But we also have the finest military on the face of the planet because of the incredibly dedicated men and women who go to work every day building the most amazing capabilities that keep our men and women safe and effective. I thank you for the work that you do. Our nation's submarines are really cities beneath the sea. The work and the work done by electric boat is what makes this possible. The Rhode Island congressional delegation really pulls together for the submarine program. But although we are a team, we have a team captain, and that team captain is the senior senator, Jack Reed. Although he could not be here in person, his presence is strongly felt today here and wherever the submarine program operates. Because in his role as the ranking member on the Armed Services Committee, in his role as one of the cardinals, the subcommittee chairman on the Appropriations Committee, there is no one who has done more to see that the tempo of construction of this sub-program is what it is today. Congratulations and thank you. You build the greatest and most complex vessels ever to sail the seas, and you do it right here in Rhode Island. And you do it for the men and women who will sail on this vessel. We are proud of your service. We are grateful for what you do for our country. We wish you and this vessel Godspeed. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning, and thank you for having me this morning. This is my second keel laying as governor, and I have to say, this never gets old. It is an amazing and awesome experience. So congratulations to all of you who are here and to the entire team of Electric Boat. It's fantastic. The Keel Lang ceremony establishes a tangible and permanent link between the sponsor and her ship. Ms. Dempsey, thank you so much for accepting our invitation to sponsor this magnificent warship. 
Your legacy of dedication to the nation's armed services is appreciated and admired. As I mentioned, my wife and I were privileged to go through the capstone course during the Dempsey tenure, and we remember well the discussion that you led for our cohort, with General Dempsey also in attendance. As South Dakota's sponsor, you are continuing your legacy with our Navy family. Keep a watchful eyes on these sailors as they fulfill their commitment of service on South Dakota and enjoy watching what they will accomplish. It will be an amazing journey as you connect, bond, and grow with her sailors today and into the future. Knowing that the ship they will operate, your ship, will be the most advanced and capable ship in the world's oceans will make this all the more special and meaningful for you. I thank you for your service to our country, and I am honored to help you begin your path to a long and meaningful relationship with your ship and crew. Thank you very much. I am beyond honored and thrilled to be here and to start this relationship with all of you. Um, I would like to thank all those who are here on the podium behind me, the civilian leadership, the leaders of General Dynamics Electric Boat, and the U.S. Navy senior leader team for all they've done and will continue to do to ensure that the USS South Dakota will join our nation's arsenal of freedom next year. With today's ceremony, this ship to bear the name of the USS South Dakota is born and its crew becomes part of my family. Thank you for this incredible honor. God bless this ship, those who are constructing it, and those courageous crew who will man it. Thank you so much. Born in Italy, just south of Rome, Dom has worked at Quonset Point for more than 33 years. During his career as a welder, he has worked on 59 submarines. Over the last five years, his weld acceptance rate has been an incredible 99.9%. You can't get much better than that. Well, there's pride in every American heart, and it's time we stand and say that I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died who gave that right to me. And I gladly stand up next to, you. next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. And I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died who gave that right to me. And I gladly stand up next to you, next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't, ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. I declare this keel to be well and truly laid. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, the initials of Deanie Dempsey are now traced in steel, a lasting expression of the bond between her, the submarine South Dakota, and its crew. Thank you, Deanie and congratulations for a job well done. That concludes today's ceremony. Thank you all for being here.